Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Tech Predator. So today in this video, we will watch how we can install Zoomla on Microsoft Azure. So uh, first of all, uh, make sure that uh, you have subscription of your Microsoft Azure account. Then log into your Microsoft Azure portal. And you can see on the dashboard, there is an option create a resource. So click on that. Now on the top, search for Zoomla. Then select the first option here. Then click on create button. Now enter the name of your new Zoomla website. So I'm going to get enter. Subscription is free trial. Uh, next is the resource group. Either you can create a new resource group or you can use the existing one. So as it is seen that our source will be the same name already exists in the selected subscription free trial. So I will select the use existing option here. You can create a new resource group as well. Third is your database provider. So uh, it is uh, right now as you database for MySQL. So we are using MySQL as a backend for our new Zoomla website. And app service plan is by default selected here. The last option is uh, data wish configuration. So click on data wish. Now, either you can uh, create a new data wish or you can use the existing one. So uh, we are creating a new data wish here. So first is server name and third is server admin login name. Next option is your password. So this will be your MySQL uh, server uh, admin password. So enter your password here. Then confirm password option. Last, year, last option is your database name. And then click on OK button. So you can keep all the day, all these details which you have entered for your database configuration on Notepad. So uh, you can use uh, these details further for login purpose. So click on OK button here, and then click on Create. Now you can see that uh, uh, Microsoft Azure is. Uh, validating all the details which you have entered for your new Zoomla website and you can see that now the deployment is in progress so it will take uh, 5 to 10 minutes depending upon your network speed so you have to wait for the deployment to complete so you can see that uh, now the deployment is succeeded on the notification section so uh, we will close this dialog then uh, we will click on all resources now uh, this one is your uh, new zoomla website that is tech Peter. and uh, this one is your uh, mysql uh, data, uh, server which you have created so uh, we will click on our new website here now this is your uh, website dashboard and uh, on the right side you can see there is url of your new website so uh, click on that url So right you can see uh, this is your uh, Zoomla web installer page so uh, this will ask the basic detail from you like your site name title uh, and your admin login etc so first of all enter the your site name here then it's description
then uh, on the right side your email ID which you can enter here this is the super user account data which we are creating right here Last is your confirm administrator password. And then select the option next. Right, so uh, this is your database configuration page, which you know that. Uh, the site has picked up from your Microsoft Azure account as you have created a MySQL database here, so it has fetched all the details from there. So uh, just click on next button here. Okay, and uh, this is the final step of uh, Zuma installations, and uh, here are the steps you can uh, install the simple data. and then click on install so it's up to you either you can create an empty website or you can install the simple data so done it is saying that uh, Zumba is now installed and uh, last is your uh, there is uh, one message it is showing here that please remember to completely remove the installation folder. So you can uh, remove the installation folder uh, for the security reason. So click on this option. Now it is removed from here. And then you can browse your new website either you can copy the url of website from here or you can just go to your microsoft azure dashboard and then click on the url So done, you can see that uh, your new uh, Zoomla website has been configured on your Microsoft Azure account. So guys, using all these steps which are mentioned here in this video, uh, you can uh, install a new website on a new Zoomla website on your Microsoft Azure account. So thanks for watching this video.